Hi, good morning, my beloved goddess, queen, empress. I give thanks for another day for, for the source, the most high, the creator, bringing us the beginning of a new day. Um, today, we are going to be talking about sacred touch as medicine. Sacred touch, the power of your hands as medicine so as a divine feminine being you have the gift of your hands which are healing so your hands are basically extensions of your heart and your hands can heal they could calm they could calm nerves they can lower blood pressure they can soothe the soul and they can provide healing to others around you, to yourself, and also to others around you. Now, one thing I wanna mention is that touch is actually, if you think about it, touch is very critical to our well-beings as human beings. You will notice that as a little baby, as an infant, um, coming out of um, the womb when an infant is born if they are studies have shown that if a child one child is given love touch nurtured um, by a loving mother and touched on loved on um, taken care of mostly through touch and another child is removed from any type of physical touch there is a drastic difference in the way one child ends up being versus the other child that wasn't exposed to any type of physical touch and there's a and, and there's a huge degradation of psychological development emotional development and also social emotional well-being of a child that does not receive any touch versus a child who is touched on, loved on. A child who is provided with touch and nurtured is effectively um, uh, matures um, psychologically, matures emotionally, mentally. They get, um, they also are um, high achievers. They're able to achieve their milestones in a timely manner and sometimes even ahead of target. So just to tell you, just to show you like that scientifically, touch is very essential and we have data that shows how important and how vital touch is to our emotional, spiritual, psychological, and physical well-being and development. So with that said, we want to be able to use the power of our hands to be able to heal our bodies. Um, our minds and also our spirit and to do that of course this uh, activity for this 21 day journey is all about pouring love into ourselves so to love on yourself you use the power of your hands the healing power of your hands as medicine to be able to pour into pour love into your soul pour, pour love into your spirit touch your yourself your body um, setting your intentions with love. The first thing is you want to connect. There are three things. The first thing is you want to connect to source. You want to connect to that higher power, uh, that higher being. You want to connect to your higher self, and your higher self is connected to source. You, the secondly, you want to root yourself in love. You want to let go of anything holding you back, any negativity, any toxic emotions, toxic feelings, releasing all of that, and rooting yourself in love. The third thing you want to do is set your intention for the touch. You want to set your intention. What do you want this touch to achieve? Do you want it to heal yourself of um, any type of uh, pains or ache, body aches, body pains, anxiety? Do you want to heal yourself, free yourself of worry? Do you want to calm yourself of any um, fears that you may have? If you're grieving, do you want to soothe a loss that you're experiencing? So set that intention. And this is powerful. This is powerful. God tells us that if you believe, if you believe in the power that I have provided onto you, you can move mountains. 
So in Matthew, God tell God tells the disciples because they they try to um, they try to speak um, to remove demons in someone who was possessed and and they couldn't do it. And Jesus, they came to Jesus and they asked Jesus, "Why isn't this working? You said pronounce these words and they would work." And God and Jesus said, "Because you did not believe." That was the bottom line. You did not believe in your own power that God has given to you. So believe in your divine right as a child of God, the power he has bestowed on you as a healer, you as a, as a human being, as a divine feminine, in your existence, in your innate existence, just by being here, simply by existing, have the power the divine power that God has bestowed upon you. So we're going to use this activity. We're going to use the power in our hands, our physical touch to heal ourselves. And so what I want to ask you today to do is to send love into your body. So you can um, perform um, a massage, just a gentle massage on your neck, setting your intentions in love my intentions is just in love relaxing my myself it's been a long week and um, it's also been a fruitful and very productive week but setting my intentions and relaxing today's Saturday and relaxing into the weekend and so I'm massaging my face tapping your forehead tapping your third eye just activating your third eye, which is your intuition, your temples, massaging your temples, and just sending love into your body. You can massage your neck, your shoulders, sending you love, and you just tell yourself, I'm sending you love, you are love. And you say, I am love, you say that to yourself, I am love. I am joy. I am perfectly and divine made. So you say your affirmations. Perfectly and divine made. I am whole, perfect, and complete. You can also massage your lower back. So you can lean forward, put your hands on your lower back, massage your lower back. Okay? <sighs> Breathe deeply. I send love into my being. I send love into my temple body. I send love into my mind. I send love into my neck. Love into my shoulders. Love and healing into my spine. Love and healing into my entire being. And so it is. So your healing, your self-healing is, ah, oh, that felt so good. I hope that felt so good to you. That was amazing. Oh, I'm loving this journey so much. Guys, I don't even want this journey to end. I wish we could. I, I want to do this all year long. Like, seriously, this is so amazing. It's so, so healing and beyond anything that I could have done this year um, for you and for myself. It's a joint uh, group journey. And I just hope you're getting as much value as I am from this journey. Um, so you massage yourself, send love into yourself, nurture on yourself. Okay, you are your own healer. You are healing yourself. No one else can heal you. You heal you. Okay, you are your number one and first healer. So if you want to extend this healing touch, I would invite you to book a, an intuitive massage. Um, that's one of my favorite massages. I got that last week from my, my massage therapist. And I can share her information with you if you are in the DMV area. Um, her name is Tarika Daniels. I can give you her information so you can contact her. She's excellent with intuitive massages. But I recommend you get an intuitive massage, which is basically your massage therapist connecting to spirit, connecting to source, the most high, and letting source guide that massage and what areas of your body that uh, need attention and exactly what each area needs. And so you get the best massage ever because it's guided by spirit and spirit knows everything knows everything you need knows your every want and your every need and so it's perfect it is super relaxing and just 
super amazing and I fully, fully recommend it uh, for self-healing. So that, uh, yeah, that is basically our activity for today. Sacred touch as a healing modality, the power of our hands as medicine for our souls and for our spirits. So thank you for joining me on day 17 of our 21-day journey, and I'll see you tomorrow. Stay blessed. Mm-hmm. <laughs>